Um, yeah. So no, uh, no plans. Actually, I'd like to actually just bring you guys all over just to experience the sort of the peak season and also some of the training and get the squad developed on some uh, some new training methods. Uh, okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start the meeting. Uh, Shithia, the recording is started, so you're leading and go ahead. Tell us what's going on. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Shadia. Morning. Yeah. morning. Uh, okay, I hope you guys have a good morning, a uh, good, uh, lovely morning today. Yeah. And then, okay, let's start from the uh, old fitness. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, did we? Did Dominic join us? Yes, Dominic should join us. Dominic should join us. Yeah. And also Paul. Uh, sorry. Yep. Also Paul. Paul, I'm going to do three. Uh, Val, no, 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 Val's almost done. Tomorrow's the last day. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, Dominic. Sorry, yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, first, let's start from the old business. Okay. From here. Do you have any updates for the reservation here? Uh, yeah. Mr. Cynthia, do I, uh, who's, who's sharing the screen? Oh, sorry. Okay, I think I will share my screen. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll back it up over here just in case too as well. That way the uh, I'm not sure if you can share your screen and actually still be seen. Uh, okay, how about this? Uh, Shinti, I already got the screen up, so uh, I volunteered to help you with this. Go ahead okay. and uh, tell me where I should point this. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Wow, very slow. Wow. Rizal, where are you? I'm home, sir. Oh, okay, cool. Hi, Dominic, welcome in. <laughs> Actually, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, Mrs. Uh, Chair, go. Mrs. Chair, go ahead. Okay. Uh, for the first subject for the old business one for the reservation, there is Jing. Uh, okay. Do you have any update about this topic, sir? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Mrs. Chair. So the update is that Wyan is actually in Nusa, uh, Nusa Penida right now, and what I'm, tr uh, I'll go ahead and ask her to open this topic of conversation with the owners that she's going to visit. My, my plan is this, I think in the future, all the newly onboarded properties we need to put in owner limitation, um, some sort of exclusive clause for full management of the property. Um, I haven't, I haven't gotten a, I think this is actually kind of a big project actually, it might not be finished in just a few discussions. But what I anticipate is my first step is to get Wyana to speak with at least all new owners about onboarding them mm -hmm. with these terms. She's currently a little bit hesitant because this is outside of her experience range, but I think moving on forward, um, this is going to be a, a good thing. If I may share really quickly uh, with, the, with, the, with the squad, um, I'd like to show everyone where we're going with market building and the next evolution. So far in market building, we've had about two, uh, three evolutions so far. So what is an evolution? Evolution is whenever we have begun a practice and we want to essentially evolve the practice and update it so that it runs more efficiently and easier. So I'll share with everybody what's been going on uh, so that everyone can see what's, what's, the, what's the deal. So the current evolution in Nisa Panita is somewhere between the first and second evolution. Uh, currently in Bali, we're trying to get to the fourth evolution. Uh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't fill out the second evolution, so that that part may be confusing. Can everyone? Can Dominic? Can you see this this graph here? Yes, sir. Okay, Riza, can you see this graph here? Oh, I was just asking Riza. Riza, are you able to see the graph? <laughs> Yes, I just see the table, sir. Oh, okay, great. Okay, so excellent. Let me let me describe to you what's going on. So basically, at each stage, 
there's a different structure, right? So let's say in the first stage, uh, back in the day, we did these uh, agreements without any, any legal contracts. Uh, we did open marketing so that the owner could take whatever bookings that he wanted from whoever he wanted. There was only Airbnb. Uh, we used Google Calendar for the, the calendar management, WhatsApp groups for communication. There was no revenue management. The compensation to the representative was based on the number of properties they brought in. And me, Wayana, Jan, and Nunki were on this system. So that was like the uh, first system that we had. There was a second system. I kind of forgot what the exact stages were, but in the second system, we had something that was a mix of that. The third system is kind of like what we are in now. So the idea is that now we have an exclusive contract with the owners. Uh, the owner is committed exclusive to Book of Vista. The owner has uh, limited use of the property. Um, there's data analytics, pricing prediction. There's Toki, which is fu fully synced calendars. There's a Slack booking feed, which sends bookings over to the owner automatically. We don't need to report anymore. Uh, the reps get a compensation based on the first three months revenue and also a fee for active properties. And this is uh, the people that are on it. We're going into a fourth uh, evolution too as well. And the fourth evolution looks like exclusive. Um, uh, rev we start doing revenue projections. So we tell the owner how much we intend to produce for their property each month. Um, there's full data analytics now. We do the entire OTAs. Um, there's pricing prediction. There's a Slack booking feed and the rest kind of remain the same. So what, what we're showing, why am I showing you this? Because I'm showing you a vision of where we need to be for squad four. Uh, we're not quite there yet because we did a lot of the work in sort of this second evolution between the second and the third. So what we're trying to do is to get, uh, get this fixed up. Uh, Dominic might recognize that most of the objects we brought in squad three were in the first evolution. So there were these very loose contracts. This is the straw house. <laughs> you know, this is the house made out of straw, made out of grass. So now we're trying to build brick houses and steel houses and uh, skyscrapers now. So they have to have different uh, types of foundations. Okay, so that's, that's essentially the length of the evolution and that's the scope of the project. Um, I'll, I'll speak to Wayana more to see how we can get that actually structured well for New Spanita in the future. Uh, back to you, Chair. Uh, uh, Mrs. Chair, your mic is muted. Okay, okay. Thank you for all the updates, sir. And I think uh, I I mentioned that that paper it should be take here as our guidance or not. This market will be our evolution. Could we uh, put it on the on business so we could uh, for the next up we will see about the improvement that Wayana bring to to spot for about the partnerships. Uh, Mr. Yes. Chair, it's already been done. I've gone ahead and done that. Thank you very much. Okay. It's already attached. Okay, thank you so much. And then uh, Mr. Secretary, let's sorry. Okay, let's move to the next of business like Okay, Danny. Danny, do you have any update on this? Yes, on the Panida Dive spot. Uh, can you open it, please? So, and let's take a look. Uh, it's slow because it's recording. Okay. Oh, whoops. Ah, this is so. I I have been start uh, with result about this is. So we basically um, take a different part for the dive center. The dive center is just kind of uh, like like a store, but they have a, a what is it? A, a what that to equipment? Yeah, for equipment and bring bring guests to the diving spot. Yeah. So the second is dive spot. Dive spot. It means the the real location, which uh. which which beats or which sea that have a dive spot and the third part is snorkel uh, basically it is uh, on the on the beach so i think it's yeah it's kind of like that so we start at uh, padida manta dive the, the location is beside papasun and what's the property nearby the padida manta dive so wow. we can keep keep on the listing okay
So this is the update. Uh, Mr. Yes. Chair, okay, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, any other update from us, Rinal, or not? <coughs> no, it's, it's the same from the Mas Gani. Okay, uh, Mas Gani, when will you finish this project, or it will be a long term project that you will update uh, on my own? Uh, I think I set this project. You are muted, Mas. Mas Gani. Okay, sorry. Oh, I think uh, on this month, I I hope it can be done and we can uh, find at least three dive spot, three dive center, and three snorkel spot. So, hope it can be done in a month. Yes, sir. Sorry. Okay, I'd like to ask actually Gunny and Rizal, um, for this particular initiative, is it that you just put the photos onto the uh, onto the listing showing that there's a dive center and a snorkel spot next to it? It should be, we can keep the, the photos, but I have to go to Vanida, right, to take a picture of the dive center, uh, what okay. equipment they give in to us. Okay. Like that. okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I'd like to. I'd like to maybe ask. Could this be an SLA? Uh, okay. So meaning that every time we take content photos for Anissa Panita, oh, we I think see. about actually uh, taking photos of like the dive shop, and also I think uh, what was it? Who was saying this? Chandra. Chandra did. We were saying about design thinking or design. Uh, design. Uh, basically, think about it from. A person who dives, right? Go and capture content about, let's say, ask a diver, hey, when you go to a dive shop, what is the most important thing you look for? Is it the equipment? Is it the price? Is it, do they have this kind of thing? Do they have that kind of thing? So then, in your photos of the dive center, um, it's great if you take like an outside photo, but that might not actually be that helpful for somebody who's diving. What might actually be helpful is, yes, they do have, let's say, GoPro rental, right? Or they do have like some type of um, feature that divers are looking for. Yes. I would ask if it might be possible for the next trip to Panita mm -hmm. to go two steps. One, ask a diver or just yeah. ask a dive shop, uh -huh. like what is it that people, what makes your dive shop different? What is it that okay. brings people into your dive shop? Okay. And then you can snap pictures of that. Okay. And then when it's on the Feral Carousel, it answers the questions that people want to ask. Like, okay. do you do you have nitrous oxide diving? Do you have this kind of stuff? And then, then that enhances it. Mm -hmm. um, the second part I thought that could be kind of fun is do you, any of you guys snorkel? Yes, I can. You, okay, Gani snorkels. What about Rizal? No. Rizal, you can't swim. <laughs> no. Can you wear a life jacket? <laughs> All right, the reason I ask, here. Okay, the reason I ask is I think it might be really worthwhile to capture good underwater photography. Okay. So if there's a GoPro opportunity, yes. maybe Rizal, maybe like even like a half in water, half out of water, ah, you know, sort of like see, you can see yeah, the yeah. underwater and overwater uh, scene. Yes. I think that's a new exciting form of photography. Right, I think we can right, rent right. a GoPro if we need that, need that <laughs> shot. Uh, but that would then actually highlight what is it in the water okay. that, that okay. people want to see. So I think these could be new initiatives for, yes. uh, and that would make music media fun too, yeah. as well. Like everyone goes to go out there and snorkel and dive and try out all this good stuff. Okay. Um, I would encourage you guys eventually to learn how to dive. <laughs> and, and the company will pay for that if you want. Um, you know, we, we, can, we can cover that. And the reason is this, because if you don't do it, <laughs> how are you going to write great copy about it? How are you going to persuade people to actually do it? So I think I think this is a good uh, and, and look Dominic is happy she's on squad four now right she's like, <laughs> yes free diving lessons okay but but please uh, do consider it especially during the off season one of our themes after peak season is actually how to innovate and part of innovation I think is actually understanding what it is that people do uh, if you don't surf if you don't dive if you don't do any of these things. How can you really mm -hmm. speak persuasively to other people about how to do it? So uh, at least at least maybe take one footstep into that tribe mm -hmm. to, to understand what it is. So that's my proposal. Yes. And uh, um, I'd like to motion for, let's say, uh, all of the Nusa Panita team 
to just try out, um, to just be able to snorkel at the very least, mm -hmm. and and try to capture the experience from a guest point of view. Yeah. So, do I have a second on that? Second on that. Okay, everyone likes that. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and just put that in. I think that could be an SLA for the for the chapter or for for the for the squad. Um, so, is there any more discussion on that? No. Yes. Okay. To okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, do we have any uh, limitation time for this or just? It's more yeah. of an ongoing thing, Shantia. It's not like it's a project. It's more like a process. So in the process, it's it's sort of like a guild in a way. So whenever you go over there and there's an opportunity to, let's say, learn something, um, there's an opportunity to snorkel, yeah. do it. If there's an opportunity yeah. to, to like surf, do it. If there's an opportunity to speak to a dive shop owner, do it. Um, so instead of being passive and, and just like watching everything, uh, yeah. be active and, oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, so I, I, I believe that in the Sabrina there's a lot of dive spot, a lot of snorkel spot. So I think we cannot just go there at three days and capture everything. But I, so I think we need to, a couple of times to go there. So it's ongoing. Yeah, project. it's basically an ongoing thing. But it would be okay. Basically, the idea is try to get dive licenses, try to get yourself certified, and that way eventually you can you can speak about it and you can you can you know okay. um, uh, do more more persuasively. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. If there's any, is there any more discussion? Oh wait, actually, back to Shintia. Shintia is the chair. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay. That that's a great idea. I think that's uh very. Oh, what what I say? Like, yeah, you are right. We have to be an influencer, and we have to try it by ourselves first, and then we could be persuasive to the guests and tell them. But uh, it's all about storytelling. To them, uh, about how to sell it. Okay. And I think. Uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, please uh, put the okay. Oh, you are really good. Eh? And also, uh, please add about the time limitation about when the dive spot that Gani has told us before. It will be at, at the end of the month. Hopefully, it could be done. Mm -hmm. yes. the... That gives you a long-term mission, Gani. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we will uh, continue to the other and identify the reservation opportunity last month and let's evaluate together. Yeah, we do it uh, daily. Mm -hmm. And is there any. Uh, I think we should put it on table since we could control it. And that and for Benny, Benny is. Can you update about your launch that listing strategy? Oh, we move to other new old business. Oh, the launch strategy. Okay, so uh, can you open this paper, the, the launch strategy? Uh, basically, me and Rizal have been create the experiment. So on the first time, we relaunch Bugas Garafai, we record the relaunch time, we change the title, we change the Google photo, but the price is still set and we change the profile. So uh, the, I, I put the objective, uh, raise occupancy from 0% to 10%, and let's see the update at the 16 July. But uh, we uh, actually, we have a lot of listing that it's that listing, but we try first. Okay, we experiment. So we hold on the other listing. So this is my update. Okay. Thank you so much. So we put it on table and we'll be back on uh, our next meeting. Probably, yeah. yeah. Okay, please, uh, Mr. Strateri, uh, add, add in the in the paper that we will be back on this on the next meeting. And then for the commun community, here is uh, from Wayana. Uh, hi, Mo. Hi, hi. Okay, do you have any update on this mo? The guest list for the bathroom? Yes. Yeah, that one is done. Okay. Um, do you have any update of uh, like maybe? For the, for the owner, actually, like um, 
the owner i give you an update for the owner actually before they want they want to uh, give the agent because uh, this agent they actually do only booking.com not agent or other but they are the owner decided to use them they asked actually like before but i, did, I didn't um uh, we play because that that time the the listing paid, doing very well, and I thought like oh I build a tree and then after I wait I my tree get big and then you want to cut it down so so I did, I was holding on that and then yesterday he said like oh and um I said I we can't have this happen again because it costs a lot uh, I mentioned all the costs. Like you know, different price that we have to pay, and then the the our head of it. and then he said something funny like, "Oh, you mm -hmm. sometimes work is sometimes headache, but we can prevent that." I said, "But by the way, so he's agreed to accommodate all our guests, uh, upcoming guests, and uh, and uh, he will have the list and the all the." The room back, but we get all our guests there. I promise. I ask for the list that I get. Okay, so uh, do we continue our partnership with the Kum or not? No. Oh, okay. Um, the chairman recognized me. Okay, I'd like to uh, I'd like to apologize to the squad for actually failing to abide by the correct termination procedure on this one. So in this particular case, I think we didn't do what we said we would do. And I, I myself, I apologize for forgetting the terms. In all these circumstances in the future, uh, Shintia and Bayou are right. Please don't announce termination to an owner um, before the last guests have checked out. Uh, now we are in a possible hostage situation. I mean, we're relying on an owner who already is very uh, unreliable when they are in partnership with us. Now they are not in partnership with us. So even if they do say that our guests are gonna be okay, I think it's 50-50 on that, right? And I think we should all be uh, reasonably expected that this, this owner is probably not reliable. I've talked to Wayana and I think the best way that we can continue with the termination is that we need to actually provide some sort of alternative housing for the next 10 guests. Just in case, just in case, if the next 10 guests do check in okay, there's no problem, then we will accept the word of this owner. But if they don't, then we should not be caught on last minute circumstances where there's overbooked guests because uh, we, don't have a, we don't have a card in this game anymore, right? The owner doesn't really want to work with us. There's another agent in place. So there's really no reason for the owner to seriously suffer if uh, we, can't, we can't deliver our guests there. So in this particular case, I think this thing could be done better next time by following the agreement that we had last time. So the first step is to pause all the listings, and then the next step is to actually wait for all the guests to check out, and then announce to the owner that, hey, look, we're going to end this partnership, thank you very much. And then there's no, uh, no hostage situation left uh, in, the, in the pipeline. So, um, okay, yeah, back to the chair. Oh, uh, yes, my, yes, my. I think for for this case it's a bit special because before the owner asked him actually to take the allocation back before, but it was uh, I said to him it, it's when when we were like get like many books in daily. I thought that was too pretty, but since and this has happened, and then I think that is like a trade consider as a trade for him. So I gave him the allocation that all the one that he wanted. Maybe that what he promised to the other agent, and that he, he promised will uh, will accommodate our guests. But for for this, I'm still following up. I want I want him to send the list that that I give him, and then I I want to see that the other agent said confirm. So I will still following up with that. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mo. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, sorry. But uh, before if uh, can I, I'm Mo 
that I will add more 10 minutes for this meeting. Do I have a second? Do I have a second? I second it. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yes, sir, please. I would like to ask Wayana to look for alternatives, alternative properties, just in case for Bakun Cozy. Uh, following up with the owner, if he does say, hey, sorry, I overbooked you, is going to probably result in the same situations that we've had previously. So I'd rather go into a fight with a gun and not just a piece of paper. Um, so please, I think the best way is to look for some alternatives in case he doesn't honor his word, because he's not really good about honoring his word in the past. That's why we got to this, this stage. So Okay, yeah. I agree on that. So yeah. I think so we need to have a project and then we have to have a mind. Maybe I, me and Cynthia have this separate discussion. Yes. How are we going uh, um, to track ourselves, like uh, block other people's room, but no, no guest letter? <laughs> Perhaps, yes. Just safety it. Just, yeah, create some safety space. I think, I think if, if I may, uh, Mrs. Chair, Yes. Okay. I think I would like to I would like to uh, visualize a project. So I'd like just alternative accommodations just to be ready in case for the next ten check-ins, uh, or just let's say the next five check-ins at Bakun Cozy. Uh, I'd like to then nominate Wayana and Cynthia to uh, look for alternative space, create the gaps in the calendar, um, just to have that uh, safety precaution, preferably in places that have a lot of open space, not in a place that's almost filled up. But uh, closest equivalent, we need to be ready in case this guy defaults on his promises, which he already does. So uh, let's not keep on chasing okay. hope after hope on a person who lies to us, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay. I accept the nomination. Yeah, and I accept the nomination. So please, uh, Mr. Frederick. Okay, you could uh, deal it about the of business in the community but please add uh, Wayana and Cynthia will make a list for the alternative of the composite guests for the next at least five check-in in the next time. And then we will uh, continue to the next uh, business. Uh, I think it's already done and we have already sent the video, so we could delete it. Mr. Secretary, please delete the office. And then we will move to the okay to the new business about market building. Okay. Okay, from Dominic, I think I see that. Dominic, uh, make a standard for this thing that can be inside the book. Do you have any update on it? So yeah, I do this have no update. This is a new business that I haven't discussed yet. So in Yogyakarta, we have like a lot of listing that uh, is unbookable, but the owner not using for key. This is from the old owner that doesn't have a contract yet. So I would like to ask from the content team and me and more. Is there uh, probably any standard for this thing that can be in some book? Mm. Okay, please ask the name or more. Okay. Yes, please more. Okay. So uh, to have to in some book about this thing, so first of all, they have to have like a the crucial part is they have to have a sync. Uh, they use our system to so and always update it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to I'd like to add an amendment to that. The crucial thing is that Book of Vista is the exclusive partner, so that's it. So let's. I'm I'm trying to evolve um, the market building from stage one to stage four. So if Boca Vista is the exclusive partner, then we will never have an issue with this because essentially, if there's an exclusive partnership, there's limited owner use, then there's no reason that the owner actually will be putting in very many bookings of their own. So in this particular case, what we're asking for is a different thing than what we asked for in the past. What we asked for in the past is an agency agreement so that we can sell, but they can go to anywhere and sell. What we're asking for now is an asset management type uh, agreement. This type of agreement is the way that hotels run properties. 
So when you have Hyatt, Marriott, Four Seasons manage your hotel, they don't. You don't have another. Age, you don't have another manager also bringing in um, reservations. You just have a single source. That person then coordinates all the bookings. So to answer Dominic's question, it actually begins with the partnership agreement. Partnerships agreement need to be fully exclusive. They need to have full control uh, on Book of Vista side of all the OTAs, and the owner has to update Toki if they have any changes, and that change is very, very limited, like seven days a month, so that we don't have these situations anymore. That makes it instant book friendly, plus we need to put on the contracts. These contracts are already ready here in Bali. There's a $100 penalty every time the owner has forgotten to update the calendar and it results in an overbooking. We might make it 150, 50 for Book at Vista, 100 for Airbnb. And then that really stops the behavior of overbooking uh, our guests, yeah? So to answer your question, the simple way to, to get that fixed is just start using the new contracts that we have here in Bali and roll them out to Jogja and then we don't have this problem anymore from any new property partners. Um, not in the is the owner have lots of direct booking and then we stop and we just have to do whatever. I think the new contract will help to fix this issue. Yeah. Okay. Uh, please, Mr. Secretary, put it on the old business and then uh, for kids. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much. Okay, this is perfect timing. So. Uh, this is the list in bold of all the owners that we will leave their listings to continue. All the ones that we've crossed out right now, we will pause their listings, wait for the last guest to check out, and then uh, and then wait for uh, uh, the last guest to check out and send termination notices. So uh, what's going on the list right now is Pandopo Duanam, Dalam Pinarak, Rumanoni, Gria, Wirosaban, Ruma, Budi, Susanto, Gimbala, Yes. Oh, well, okay. All right. Well, let me go over to back to the chair. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Please come in. So yeah, actually, I just make an update on the contract list that mm -hmm. we, uh, Mr. Secretary, could you please go uh, back to the yeah this one, the partnership and termination list. I just review on all our listing on all Jogja profile, and I made a new listing for the property that probably uh, we will like to continue the. Oh, okay. This is the same thing. Oh, there's a link inside that there. Okay, I understood. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, on that one, sir. Jogja Partnership and Termination List. Ah, okay. So, yeah, I made an update. I have a review of our listing on all the account and the result of it. Uh, the left one is the property that we will continue the partnership, and then the last one is the property we would like to terminate. And another middle one is the property we will still need a consideration before we choosing to continue the partnership or terminate the owners. Okay. So yeah, I think it's uh, it's just an FYI, and I think I will have a subcommittee discussion with you again about this one. And reconsiderate about the property that I have, uh, I put on the desk. Okay. okay. Yes, please, sir. Okay. I'd like to just clarify with the team. Um, I'd like to motion everything on the termination list. We send in a content request, and we ask all these listings to be paused. Yes. Any? Uh. Do uh, Mister Jing have any second? Second. Okay, it's been seconded by Dominic. Uh, is there any discussion? Okay, please, Dominic. Oh yeah, since uh, is it should be uh, it will be uh, sent to contact first, right, sir? Contact, yeah. I think we need to send to contact to essentially delist all these properties. We follow the same protocol as before. We basically pause so we don't take any future bookings anymore, and then we wait for all the existing bookings to empty out, existing reservations to empty out. And after the last guest is checked out, then we send the notice to the partner that that's that's your last guest, and this is the last time we do business with you. Okay, sir. Okay. 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 Thank you. So please, Mr. Secretary, put it on the off business and please add that uh, Dominic and Mr. Oh, sorry, 
Yes, sir. Uh, Mrs. Chair, we need to vote. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, anyone prefer to the motion? Please raise your hand. No, no. Who prefer on the motion? Okay, I'll take the motion. Okay, so I think the motion passed. And then, uh, please, Mr. Secretary, put it uh, that on the old business. And then, uh, Dominic and Mr. Jing will have sub committee to discuss more about this. When will you back with the on the next year? On the next thing up, and they will back on the next thing up, and then we uh, okay for the leadership. Uh, Mr. G, do you have any update on this? Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, one of the things I pledged to the squad was I would integrate Squad Three business onto the sheet. That's already been done. So, Mrs. Chairman, that item of business is finished. Also, I'm just showing basically a template. Um, R and I have been working on this uh, of how to actually onboard new employees. So Rion is our first candidate who is undergoing the new training program. Um, basically, if I can show everybody what it is, um, this is essentially the fourth cohort. So everyone here is mostly on third cohort. Uh, this is fourth. So in the fourth, basically, it includes core value training. It includes SLA training, uh, OKR training, democratic discussion training, uh, and then reservation training too. So basically, all the things we had in uh, third cohort plus the things that we were missing. Uh, this looks kind of like, I'll, I'll just demonstrate what it looks like right now. So there's essentially a daily program. There's, uh, there's resources, human people that the candidate can speak with if they have questions regarding any subject. This is just to create clarity on who you should talk to if you have uh, uncertainty about something. And then uh, we've also included the guilds as part of all new candidates so that they can see and participate in all the guilds. Uh, this will enliven the guild participation. Uh, we've also put in the career matrix so that they can see what their career matrix looks like and strive to get more towards the lower left hand corner of this career matrix. Um, but basically every day they have a program. Every day or stage they have a program. So it's, uh, it's essentially it goes over reservation training, Reservation rehab is something all new candidates will do. Uh, they understand about the career planning so they can see how they can get promoted to the next level. Um, they learn about democratic process, they learn how to do a sync up, and every day they essentially, uh, they essentially go through and learn something and do their daily duties as well. Uh, between Once a week there's a test, and the test will include some of the material that we want them to, uh, to study and come back to us to make sure that they actually learned it. So through this, I think we can actually compress about six months of experience, or maybe three months of experience, in uh, the first 30 days. So every candidate that comes out has essentially much better preparation on all the company values that uh, compared to before. Oh, cool. thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, sir. And then maybe we could put it on the off business. And then, yeah. Uh, before I adjourn the meeting, I think, is there any discussion more about this? No? Okay, so I will, uh, for the chairperson and secretary for the next meeting. The next meeting will be on, uh, will be on Monday or Tuesday? Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. 16, I'm 16, July. yeah, of July. Okay, and then the chairperson for the next meeting will be Wayana. Good Wayana, Wayana. And then for the secretary, Jing, would you accept the nomination? Yeah, I will. I accept the nomination. Okay, so I think we have uh, over time yeah, for five minutes and I adjourn the meeting to ask the second. Okay, thank you so much.